installing and installing this program okay i have this uh, desktop okay shortcut okay so uh, we will need this program okay to run okay uh, an apache okay mysql and php okay so after installing this you will have apache which is a web server which is needed to run okay websites okay and it will also um okay uh, include mysql and php which is the programming language we will use okay for uh, the entire okay uh, summer of this subject okay so after installing you can now run the file and it will appear here in your task manager okay so uh, okay WAMP is okay let me click this and let me show you my local host okay by clicking local host it will show a home page okay so this is a home page that will tell you that uh, your apache okay is running php and if you want to check on your uh, mysql you can simply click php my admin okay so you have your mysql database okay so uh, okay so first let us okay uh, create or open the home directory okay so to do, to do that we will go to uh, c wamp and www okay so this is the the okay home page okay so if you want to create a new page you will simply type for example okay um, um okay my site okay so this is my subdirectory and i will type here okay my index dot okay php okay so this file index.php will automatically load every time i include my home directory subfolder site okay so for our uh, php page okay you need to create the following files you have index okay let me create another file this file will be called config okay and uh, okay another file okay this file will be called install okay so as you can see uh, all of our file extensions okay are in php okay php is a very very powerful uh, server side scripting language okay so it is used in many popular uh, social networking websites especially uh, facebook okay so we're going to be uh, okay using this language to create our uh, shopee like or lazada like okay na website okay so uh, first let me okay okay let's start by creating the config okay the php okay so this is the config that php file okay that we're going to be uh, doing okay 
So as you can see, this is my config.php. Okay, so the host name here, okay, is the your page, okay, your domain name, okay, which is localhost, okay, and then the okay the database name which will be created later, okay, is called by cell. So it's up to you, okay, what uh database name you will be using in my case okay i just made this one up so your host name should always be localhost this is your home page okay it's up to you what will be the database name okay and uh this one is also needed okay your database username and password Okay, so by default, when you install Apache, okay, this one, okay, WAMP server, the, the MySQL username and password is root, okay, and the password is blank, okay, so you can simply use that, okay. So the purpose of having this file config is we need to have separate module Okay, we need to in include modularity here. So, kailangan modular, similar to uh, Java, PHP. We need to have a separate file. Okay, as a different file means a file has different functionalities compared to another file. Okay, so that's what modularity is about. Okay, so we have the config file. Okay, done yan. Okay, now let's proceed to the install PHP. Okay. Okay. So, what does the install PHP okay, about? Okay, let me run this. Man. So, install PHP um, will be executed, okay, if you want to create a database. Okay, so this is the purpose of having... Uh, a database okay you need to have it installed first the installation here is okay we're going to create a database by simply running this file okay so first okay we need to have okay let me increase the font size of this okay so first we need to include this file okay in php as you can see okay uh, this one okay sim signifies the beginning okay this is the beginning and this is the ending so all statements between the beginning and ending must be all php okay so you need to include php here okay that's part of the syntax okay and this one is a variable so all variables in PHP must include a dollar sign. So it's up to you. Go anong variable, for example, uh, num. Okay, lagay mo 100. Okay, so lahat ng variables sa, H, sa PHP. This one is an integer. Okay, ito siya string. Okay, it's similar to Python. You don't have to include int. Okay, no need for this data type. Okay automatic variable and what is the value to be assigned to this variable ganyan lang diretso okay and similar to um, okay java c c++ you need to terminate each statement with a semicolon okay so that's it okay beginning ending variable must include with a dollar sign the value okay so that's it so, in this case, we have here, include. Okay, so the include here, meaning, you're going to be using this file. So, all of this will become part of this file. Okay, that's the purpose of having include. And then, this is the file that will be used. Okay, and the statement. Okay, so next is, we're going to, okay, connect. Okay, so... Okay, let me press enter and then okay there you go okay 
this particular statement, this is a variable, okay? This is a PHP function that will let you connect, okay, to your host name, which is localhost, okay? This is a variable, okay? Where you, we're, we're going to use this variable, host name, okay? Because we're currently including this file, included daw ito siya dito na file so that we can use this variable in this file okay kasama yan siya dun okay so host name okay which is localhost okay the this one is the username and this one is the password so to connect your php uh, server program okay para makakonect yan siya dun okay you will be uh, connecting using localhost username and password okay if it fails to do that if it cannot connect because probably the the localhost okay server is down or the username or password is wrong it will print on the screen okay could not connect okay that's the purpose of or here if this particular parameter okay fails to execute or okay it's like a try and catch so in php you have try and catch ah, sorry in uh, java okay you have try and catch in php you have or okay so it will simply print could not connect so the die here is not uh, print okay it's simply a statement okay, that will be executed Okay, when this particular statement fails to execute. Okay, so uh, in PHP, there is a print. Okay, or echo. It's similar. So, in this case, we use die to print a string if this statement fails to execute. Okay, and the statement. Okay, so next. Okay, so uh, next, we're going to create a database. Okay, ayan. So, we're going to create a database. The database that will be created is okay, this particular uh, database name. So, this is the variable. Okay, ito daw siya ang variable. We just concatenated it. Okay, this is a string. Okay, tapos concatenate it with this variable. So, in your ano, uh, information management Okay, uh, one. Okay, we talk about creating a database in MySQL. Diba in MySQL command line, we just type create database enrollment system. So, this particular database is called create database. This particular database. Okay, so ilagay ko na lang dito Shopee. Yan, so it will now create a database called Shopee. Okay, so we're going to execute this okay yan so this is by the way just a string string lang ito so ito daw na string which is this particular string concatenated with this variable which is equals to create database Shopee is a variable query string lang ito siya so, we're going to execute this variable using my SQL query function. Execute daw natin yan. Okay. If it fails to execute, okay, this SQL statement, it will print failed to create. Okay. It will store the, okay, uh, the return value when running this statement will be stored in this variable. Okay. So, that's the purpose of that. Okay. So, next, okay, tuloy-tuloy lang yan. Okay, one statement at the time tayo. Okay, so, next naman, okay, we have another function called MySQL Select Database. Okay, so, meaning, we're going to select the database that is already been created. So, na-create na ito siya. When running this function, Okay, you execute this this string. This string is a SQL query. 
create database Shopee. Di ba? So, it will execute this. So, a database is now created. So, may Shopee database ka na. Okay, we're going to select it. To give you, ano, to give you an example. Okay. So, let me just, uh, okay, print something on the page. Okay, so we need to print database. Uh, okay, this one should be okay database created. Okay, Ayan. so let me end the statement. Let me try executing this so that you will have an idea. Okay, of how to run a PHP file. Okay, so. Okay, so I think that's it. Okay, so we need to close the connection. Okay, after. Okay, after doing all the. Uh, after connecting to the database MySQL, we need to close the connection. Okay, let me save this. Okay, and I will run MySQL admin. Okay, so. Currently, there is no Shopee database. I already have a buy and sell because I already tested my code okay, before giving you the example. So, there is no Shopee database. Okay? So, let me go to my subdirectory which is site. Okay? So, capital S. Okay? Ayan. This is the index.php okay what is running here is index.php if i do something like this okay we can type actually html here okay maybe plan sample only okay and okay this is html if you can still remember and okay so it's running my index.php okay this one okay so next i will run install php okay so as you can see there is no shopee database here i will now run install php install.php okay so ang sinabi niya failed to create database Okay, so it did not. Okay, uh, ito nag execute. Okay, so there must be a problem. Okay, so ito yung nag execute ha. Okay, it did not. It execute this query and it did not create the database. Okay, so as you can see. Okay, wala pa tayong Shopee database. Okay, so let us check what is happening here. Okay, so let's check if this connection is uh, doing something. So I'm going to add. Okay, uh, connected. So that we will know that this particular okay uh, function is executing. Okay, so we're connected. Okay, so meaning connected tayo because it did not print, could not connect. Okay, the problem is running this statement. Okay, so our database should be called Shopee. Okay, so it's not working. Okay, so let me try running again. Okay, so I think uh, the problem is uh, I did not save this file config.php. Okay, I just executed install PHP wherein I still have values here that needs to be applied. Okay, so make sure you save after modifying the code. Okay. So, the database is now created. 
okay so if you click home okay let me click refresh okay so you now have a shopee database okay so you can change your database name for example lagay mo dyan okay lazada okay tapos run again install php by just clicking refresh ayan sabihin niya database created database selected and then refresh this okay you will see shopee lazada so itong zero here meaning there are no tables yet okay if i if you click my buy and sell database meron kang four na tables okay this will be our tables for your uh, each program exercise msa so for my lazada and shopee wala okay walang table so meaning dito daw sa install php natin okay okay we're going to add tables okay so before that let me delete lazada database and shopee database so it's it's simply clicking this ano tab in my sql command line you type drop database shopee di ba ganun pa so this is just a browser base na my sql so we don't have to type uh, sa command line okay para mas mabilis okay so ayan okay so i have uh, my database Okay, ito lang akong piliin. And then, uh, dito tayo. Okay, so next we're going to create a table. Okay, first, okay, this is our table. Ayan. Okay, so let me explain each statement. So same with this one, create database. Okay, this is a string we assign to a variable. Ito naman, same thing. I'm, I'm just reusing okay, gina-reuse ko lang yung variable so dollar query is a variable which holds the string so this is a MySQL statement okay, so create table, the name of the table okay, user ID data type okay, the the length Okay, and it is not null, so meaning an I, uh, a user ID field must be assigned a value. It's auto increment, meaning it increments on its own. So, mag start to siya sa 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and it's required kasi not null, eh. required yan. Okay, another field is one is text another field name text na naman so puro text lang yan sila lahat okay ayan so these are all field names for our table user okay so ayan this is what you will be doing user type itong user type the purpose of this variable is there will be two types of users that will be logging in to our Shopee website Okay, the first user is the admin. Okay, so that is the store owner, the admin. And another user is the customer. So, yun yung user type natin. Okay, and then the date, kung kailan nag-register si user, at saka ang IP address niya. So, we need to know that also. So, the primary key is the user ID. Okay, so ito yung gidiscuss natin sa information management okay so this is the uh, table called user okay since string lang ito siya it's not going to do anything for now string lang ito diba double quote tapos double quote okay semicolon so string lang yan so we need to execute this but ano we need to use this variable as a function parameter okay so I execute nyo yan Okay, if it fails to execute, like my error dito somewhere, it will print query failed. Okay, but if it's successful, it will proceed sa next statement. So, this statement will be executed pag successful ito. 
this will not be executing if this fails to execute you will see on the screen query failed okay so yun yung makita mo okay so another table so i will show you all the tables okay that uh, you will be needing ito lahat okay so isa isahin natin i will show you each table name at saka fields okay ito yung ginawa natin kanina user okay and yung mga fields niya so copy that and then another table called purchase so this table purchase dito nakalagay yung order product ID nag order ni customer ilan okay bili siya ng sampung ano ba yung bibili niya quantity ilan at saka date okay kung kailan niya binili okay this is our table purchase okay another table naman we have products this is the catalog Okay, anong mga anong binibenta sa store natin? So the ID of the product, okay, which is our primary key, the product category, ano ba 'yan? T-shirt, uh, pants, shoes, so yun yung mga category. Product description naman, for example, this is T-shirt. Ano ang description? Color red, uh, size medium, Uh, cotton, t-shirt ayan, so mga description if product category is shoes, description is Nike so on and so forth okay, product link is the uh, for example Nike itong ano natin binibenta, so it will it will show you a link okay, to that ano, product, okay, kung Adidas ba yan, link for that Adidas And then we have a picture. Okay, kasi syempre parang shopee ito. So, you need to have a picture that users can click. Pwede niya mag-zoom, enlarge, di ba ganyan. So, pag magbenta ka ng product online, kailangan may picture. Okay, so importante. Quantity is ilan ang stock. Okay, kung may customer na bibili 100 pieces of this product, quantity is only 50. Ah, hindi siya pwede yung bumili ng ganyang karami kasi quantity is ilan lang yung nasa stock okay? and then we have last price and our price so itong last price is the previous price okay? our price is the current okay? so pag ang nakalagay sa last price for example 1000 that's the old price pag ang nakalagay sa our price is 800 so meaning nagmura siya So, the price is reduced from 1,000 to 800. So, malaman ng, cost, ng ano yan, customer na the product is being sold at, at, at a much lower price. Okay? So, the primary key is the product ID. So, this is our table products. And the last table is called message MSG. Okay. So, Uh, ito yung ating message na table so the purpose of this table is chatting okay the customer can chat okay pwede silang mag chat yun yung nasa Shopee di ba? or Lazada so kung nasa Shopee Lazada ka there is chatting okay so ayan so that's basically it this is the entire schema of our table or database okay let me save this Okay, and as you can see, if I click refresh, there is no database shop yet. Okay, let me run this. I will just click refresh. Okay, sabihin niya the table user created, purchase, product, MSG. So, itong mga text na yan, all of this text is because of this. Yan, table user created, table purchase created. So, meaning nakaabot siya dito na line if hindi siya nagprint ng table product is created so meaning hindi siya umabot dito hanggang dito lang siya okay so if if it's proceed to this statement nag-execute na ito so nag-jump siya nag nag-move kasi siya line to line di ba so okay so if you go back to your ano 
PHP my admin, you will see that we now have a Shopee database with four tables. If I click this, ayan, so we have the MSG products table purchase user. In your MySQL command line, you can see something like this. If you type what show tables, di ba? And then if you click this table, you can view its contents. Wala. So you simply type select asterisk from user. Di ba? Ganyan ang ginagawa natin sa MySQL command line before. But now, since we're dealing with web, we don't have to access the command line. Dito na lang, di ba? Mas madali. Okay. Kasi nakaano lang ito siya eh. Naka-browser base lang. Okay. Ayan. Okay. So, next. Dahan na tayo sa install PHP. So, that's basically it. Okay. So, for your exercise 1, this must be running. Okay. Hindi siya magsabi ng error. So, i-close na natin yan. Okay, let's proceed. Ito, done na rin yung config natin. Okay, so that's basically it. Let's now proceed sa index. Okay, punta tayo sa index. Okay, so for your index, this is the homepage. So, pag i-open ko yung homepage mo, lalabas welcome. So, there's nothing much happening here. Walang nangyayari masyado. Okay, so ang gawin natin is we need to log in. Okay, ano pala muna? Register. Okay, register muna tayo. Okay. So, uh, for registration, this is what we need to do. Okay. So, we need to uh, create a link. Okay, in uh, okay, in HTML. Okay. So, if you can still remember HTML, okay, maglagay tayo ng link. Okay, let me just increase the font size. Ayan. Okay. So, this is by the way, NAH ref link. Okay, this one stands for the current, okay, file which is index. Okay, so currently what you're seeing here, yung nakikita nyo dito, yung nagprint ng welcome, is the file index.php. So, you don't have, you don't have to show index.php in the URL, di ba? So, you just type ano, uh, question mark okay and then this is the this is the value okay that will be printed in the url okay yung mag print daw dyan okay so login is equals to false okay so think of this okay as think of login as a variable and false is a value that will be assigned to this variable. So, ito yung maglabas dito sa URL. And then, this is by the way, a bookmark. Okay? Bookmark yan siya. Okay? So, if you don't want to include a bookmark, you can just remove this. But for this example, maglagay tayo ng bookmark. And this, this and then we have the text that will appear here as a link. So, I will say this and refresh. Ayan. So, diba? May register. Okay, so since we don't have any bookmarks yet, okay, maglalagay tayo dito sa baba. Okay, so you will be doing registration on the same page. Okay, so let's create a bookmark here. Okay, okay natin, uh, this will be our bookmark. Okay, so if you can still remember uh, your HTML, okay, what's the name of the bookmark? Register. Okay, then this, this is the label. Okay. Okay, so it's going to this uh, uh, line. Okay, that's the purpose of that. Okay, so if you have a lot of content here, for example, okay, 
if you have a lot of content okay it will go to this particular uh, page okay okay next we are going to uh, input values here okay so we are going to okay the values that we need to input must be okay all of these fields okay so i will simply type okay this is in uh, html okay my computer is uh ko na lang ha uh, customer name the customer name okay what else um, password contact so hindi ko natapusin na it will just give you an idea okay password and then contact okay and then we need to have a form here Okay, so we have our form. Okay, so name is actually just optional. Okay, let me type action. Uh, okay, so we will be going to another file. Okay, with register PHP. And then the type of method we will be using is okay post okay so i will discuss uh, what's the purpose of this and an, an, an alternative to this is get okay but for now let us see what's the uh, result of this okay and then we have the submit okay value So, okay, let me just add some spaces here, refresh, okay, as you can see, and if I click, okay, kulang pa, sample, madami yung content niya, refresh, register, okay, punta siya dun sa register, so if I type values here, and if I click submit, it will proceed to register PHP okay so if I include for example if this is post you will not see anything okay it will just say register PHP diba? okay that's post okay if I change this to get okay refresh type a new value submit okay you will see all the values in the url so this for security purposes we're not going to print the you the customer name here and password okay because it's dangerous uh, okay some some other users must be it might be able to uh, annul your password okay so it's basically a not secure way of sending information to this file itong register php kasi itong customer name na yan yung type ko password na yan at saka contact number na yan is going to be given to this file and it's appearing on the url di ba? so it's not uh, secure so this must be post okay so that it will not be posted Ika refresh okay then click refresh yan o diba wala so it's not appearing here so it's more secure okay so next we're going to create this file okay so that when i click submit all of these values will be stored okay so another module 
Okay, this is what, what we call module. Okay. So, let's proceed sa register PHP because currently, there's no file. Di ba? Walang nagaano dyan. Okay. So, what will be our register PHP? Okay. So, our register PHP will include the config PHP because we need to use the database name, username, and password and everything to be able to insert records. Okay. Next, we're going to connect again. Okay. So, we're going to connect. Okay. Since we have this file, we have the user, the local host, root, and there's Again, because we're going to insert values okay okay so next okay we need to um, let's go back to localhost add it to the index we need to get this value okay so if the user for example did not type anything wala siyang di type di click lang niya ang submit Yan, di ba? So, as you can see, uh, the question is now, will you accept that value, that registration? Nag-register si customer, wala siyang type nag-resubmit that. So, so, will you accept it? So, your PHP, register PHP must be able to know that. Okay. So, we're going to include a condition. Okay. So, this one is an if statement. So, you're already familiar with that. Okay, this one is request. Request means, okay, you're going to get the value that is printed on the URL. So, since wala sa URL ito, it's invisible because of post. Okay, nalagay natin post and we get. Okay, so, we're going to get the value of C name. Okay, diba? So, if you do something like this, Okay, alisin ko na. Lagay ko print. Okay, print. Ayan. Ah, yun yung need na yun. Okay. So if, I, so, if I do this, okay, it will print the name that is inputted here okay, tingnan natin okay, diba? so, di print nya so, this is the value okay, so, yung value na di-type mo dito submit okay, it print nya sa this is register PHP diba, so, you're printing it okay, so, meaning this holds a value Okay, so this must be okay, an if statement. Okay, dapat ito if statement. Okay, and then we're going to be using this particular variable. Okay, so if the value that is inputted here, ito daw gi-input dito na value, is not equals to null, we're going to assign a value to this variable. So, this variable is boolean, true. So, dollar name is a new variable that we just created here and we're assigning a value. Okay, true. Okay, diba? Okay, next. Kasi we need to know if the customer inputted something in this input box or not. Okay. So, um, okay. And then else okay and then close okay okay so if this is true if the customer inputted something okay what we should do is to run a query okay so, the purpose of this query is, we're going to select the entire user table. 
Okay, ito daw itong users mo. Since wala pang laman yung users mo, okay, wala pa yan siyang laman, wala pang tao. Okay. So, uh, so this is a variable which holds a string, which is a query. Okay, execute niya yung query, itong select query, if it fails to execute, die. Error. It will print the error message, which is a function yan. And then, uh, this var function will count how many rows does this the, the query that is executed. So, itong select query, ilan daw ang rows niyan nasa variable na ito, which is an array. Array ito siya. So, we're going to count using my SQL num rows function. So, itong dollar num results, okay, pwede natin okay, i check ilan okay if 0 yan siya so meaning if this is 0 wala pang tao diba wala pang customer or user okay so this is true kasi wala pa naman talaga diba okay so since true yan siya okay Ito pa, lumayo yung ating else. Okay. So, since the entire statement is true, okay, what we need to do is, we're going to insert a record. Okay. Using an insert query. Okay. So, this is a variable and we have insert into query. So, the table that is going to be inserted a value is user. Okay. And these are all the fields that will be affected. Okay. Ito yun. Uh, so, yun? User ID, email, password, contact, customer name. Diba? So, yan yung mga values. Okay. And then, ito naman is yung i-assign natin sa each field. Okay. Dito muna tayo sa email. Ano daw ang ilalagay mo sa email? Ang ilalagay mo sa email is request email. Okay. Ano ba yung nandito natin? Ano lang man ito? Name, password, at contact. Okay. Hindi pa kasi tayo kompleto. So, in this case, okay, uh, customer name okay customer name password so, yung password ito password I'm just another spelling changing the spelling and then contact okay contact so, yung contact natin so we have email password ah, ito phone is contact okay so this one address kung saan siya nakatira and this one is the current date okay, ano daw ang date na yun so the first user that will be created is admin ito siya nakadefine na this is the user type okay, user type yan so the first user that will register is the store owner okay so sino yung unang mag-register is the admin and then the current date Okay, ito yan siya. User date. Kailan nag-register si user. And then the IP address. The IP address of the computer, the user is registering. Okay, so, mag-print yan. So, sometimes this will not work. Kasi depende kasi sa security ng browser mo. So, if your browser does not allow getting your IP address and printing it sa server, may security, hindi mag-print ang IP address mo dun. Okay? So, this is the SQL query that will be executed by this function. is I-assign dito na variable. Okay. And then, this one is a redirect. If this is done, it will execute this HTML. HTML ito siya. So, echo is similar to print. Pwede ka maglagay ng print dyan. Okay? Either way, echo or print. But in this case, I'm going to use echo. Either way, okay. 
this one will refresh the page and it will redirect you to index sabihin niya registered true okay tingnan natin okay after all of this okay we need to close the connection and the PHP okay, kasi ito yung beginning don't forget the ending okay, kailangan nyo yan so, let me check check ko lang yung syntax ko ha beginning, ending okay, beginning, ending beginning, ending okay, tama okay, let's try if this will work so currently, there are no users yet okay, and I will register okay, refresh ko muna ito ha Okay, register, login, and write the username, password, submit. Okay, so, sinabi niyang registered is true. Okay, meaning, ito yun, index PHP register, uh, registered true. So, success. So, if you go to users, makita mo, browse meron ka ng isang customer user id is 1 kasi naka auto increment ito siya na field the, the value that is inputted so wala tayong email wala tayong address kasi ang fields natin ito lang name, password, contact diba? name password, contact admin the date IP. So, my browser does not want to ano, uh, use the IP. Secreto. So, walang naglabas dyan. So, depende na lang yan sa browser ninyo ang i-allow. Okay? So, we register the customer. Okay. What if so, this condition is true? Ito. Okay? Kasi there are no current users yet. Automatic admin okay di ba admin okay what if there's a user already so dapat customer na siya so this will become false so pag false yan okay so ang gawin natin ngayon okay so uh, okay so if this is false Okay, we need to uh, Okay, we need to be uh, else tayo So, another else here Oops, teka yeah. Okay So, this condition is true If you are the first user Admin Diba, admin ka Pag first user ka Okay, pag hindi ka admin, probably you are a, uh, ano, okay, you are a second user. So, okay, ang gagawin natin next is, okay, we need to check if your database, uh, if your record exists. Okay, ito siya. I-check niya ngayon if your email is already been registered. Hindi kasi pwedeng nag- register ka dito ng email tapos the same email another customer so each customer must have a different ano, email so i-check daw niya yung mga email so ang email ko is wala man akong email okay so email ko kasi is ano eh okay wala akong email dito so, gawin ko na lang itong email ha, instead na ano. So, I'm gonna change this to email. Okay. So, instead na customer name, email ko na lang. Okay, just for uh, demo purposes. Okay. So, this is email. Okay. And email. Okay, so I now have an email. Okay. 
So, okay. So, next, dito natin ilalagay if email is so, this query will simply look for an email that is similar to the email that is trying to register. So, pag nag-register ka ng email that is already taken, hindi allowed. Okay? So, ito siya na query. Titignan niya if that email is already found in the user table. Okay? So, it will execute the query. It will determine ilan. Okay? Ito, ika-count niya ilan. Ilan ba daw ang email na kapareho ng email na gina-register mo? Okay. So, if meron, okay, if num results is equals to zero, meaning you don't have a duplicate email yet. So, you're, you are a, your email is, ano, unique. Okay. Hindi pa niya nakita. It's not registered yet. Okay. So, what we will do here is to insert your record, diba? So, i-insert ka niya. Okay? So, let me just uh, copy this. So, ito pareho lang. Ito na query at saka ito na query. Okay? It should be the same. Except instead na admin ka dito, you are simply a customer. Okay? Customer ka. Okay? So, execute the query and redirect you sabihin niya register is true. Similar to this, register is true. Okay? So, na-register ka. Otherwise, okay, so, otherwise, pag meron siyang nakita na kapareho ng email mo, nag-register ka using the same email as another customer, else. Okay, sabihin niya, registration false. Okay, ito yung mag-print dito sa, ayan, sa URL. Okay. So, let me check. Beginning, ending. Okay. So, okay, siguro, walang error. Let me run. Okay, register. Email. Uh, bagong email. At dot com. Okay. Okay. Okay, submit. So, sa success. So, you have a new customer. Customer hindi siya admin kanina yung admin kasi siya yung first user eh. so if you delete this empty I empty natin ang database ah. so wala ka pang customer so you will be registering as the first user ako yung first user yan so dito admin ka okay if you're the ano uh, ibahin natin ang email Ayan. if you are uh, another user ok, success pa rin you are a customer ok, ba? so, iba na naman na user so, different email will be accepted what if you registered as this email again, ito na naman you register mo ok, ayan so, the same email na, i-register mo pa rin submit Sabihin niya, registered false. So, meaning, hindi siya gi-allow. Hindi na duplicate, di ba? So, dapat ito na email, once lang gagamitin. Hindi pwedeng another customer, the same email. Okay? So, nag-work itong ating if-else dito. Okay? So, dollar num results holds the number of kung ilan ba daw ang kapareho ng email mo. If it's if it's zero, meaning wala kang email na kapareho. Otherwise, meron kang merong nakita, meron siyang nakita na kapareho ng email mo. So ang gawin niya, redirect. Okay? Ito i-insert niya sa database. Ito wala siyang gagawin na insert sa database. Redirect lang. Okay? Okay? 
so that's basically it okay dito naman tayo sa else dito na else is if the name is not uh, may email na pala ito no okay so okay lang sige lang name so if the value is left blank so if the value is left blank ano nga gawin niya balik okay balik siya dito okay sabihin niya registered false okay ayan registered false okay so, kasi blanco okay tingnan natin register okay, alisin nyo natin yun. we're going to register but we did not type anything submit diretso okay so submit diretso register false nothing happens diba walang nangyari same pa rin record 1 and 2 okay kasi wala siyang di type eh diba so pag type nyo ng database na existing registered false pa rin so nothing happens here walang nadagdag okay register nyo naman so if I type a database that is not exist uh, email that is not existing okay registered true so we have a new record okay bagong customer okay ganyan so success ang ating registration okay okay so uh, let's proceed to logging in okay logging in naman tayo so ito na ito na customer yan silang tatlo mag login okay so dito may register ka Okay, balik tayo sa index. Ayan, ito. Okay. So, next naman. Uh, login. Okay. So, gawin natin dito. Okay, this is the link. Okay, login is true na itong yun. Okay, login is true. Okay, and then bookmark. Ayan. Okay. So, uh, ito siya. Okay. So, what we can do here is we can remove this. Pag ang i-click niya is login. Pag ang i-click niya is register, ito maglabas. Pag ang i-click niya is login, iba ang maglabas, hindi ito. Okay, so gawa muna tayo ng login. So this will be my login. Okay, lagay natin login. Okay, hindi tayo pupunta sa register, pupunta tayo sa login PHP. Hindi pa natin nagagawa yan. We're just going to be using the email. Okay, this will be the username. Okay, and this is the password. So, the username is the email add. The password is just the password. Okay? So, this is type password. Hindi pwede makita. Okay? So, that's it. So, next, we're going to add a condition. Okay? So, what we will do here is uh, we need to get the values. Okay? So, ilagay natin dito is ayan. So, I have here another PHP. Okay. So since this index.php is a PHP file, okay? Pwede tayong maglagay niyan. So this is the beginning and ending PHP. Ito siya HTML. So we're simply embedding. Okay? So if the value is ito daw login is um, false. Okay? register, di ba? If login is false, register. Okay? So, okay, so this condition will become true. Okay? Kasi, i-click niya ito. Di ba? Login is false. So, login is false. Okay? The purpose of this request is to get the value that is printing 
are showing on the URL ito. Pwede mo yan kunin. Kukunin mo yan. Dito. Pwede mo gamitin sa code. Okay? So, if it's false, ito ang gagawin. So, dito, maglagay tayo ng beginning and ending naman. Because we're combining the HTML at saka PHP. Okay? So, ito, ilagay natin dito is else. Else. Okay? So, ito naman is the close closing block code block okay so this is html beginning ending so php kasi ito eh okay this is not this is not html this is php so we're combining html and php okay so beginning ending beginning ending so if this is true login is true Login is true. You're logging in, di ba? If login is false, you're registering. Okay? So, we're going to register. Ito ang maglabas. If you're going to log in, ito ang maglabas. Okay? Let's check what will happen. Okay? Dalawa, register, login. So, wala, register ang maglabas. Okay? Alisin natin ito. May ano kasi tayo, value. Okay? Ayan, log in nagpunta siya sa else okay, dito siya nagpunta sa else okay, else ang default okay, if I click register oh, register, di ba? okay, ayan if I click login ayan, login so, if you view the source of this ang makita mo is login you don't see the php So, ang makita ng mga customers mo, HTML, hindi nila makita yung PHP mo kasi sa server lang ito nag -run. Itong mga codes na ito, yan siya. Sa server lang yan nag -run. Hindi yan siya nag sa client. That's why this is called a server-side script. So, if you click register, yan, register. And if you view source, ayan, register ang maglabas, di ba? Hindi mo makita yung login hindi mo makita yung PHP kasi sa server lang yun okay so register login okay so username and password asterisk okay so if I click submit there is no file yet wala pa tayong login PHP so gagawa pa tayo okay so uh, login para sure ang spelling. Okay, i-copy ko 'yan. And paste. Okay, para mamali kasi ang spelling. Ayun, so gawa naman tayo ng another module. Okay? So anong meron sa module na ito? Simply login in. Okay? So let's proceed sa login in. For login in, same with register. Okay, we need to include na config ok next connect to a database ok ang ginawa natin kanina and then next we're going to run an SQL query ok explain ko ito we're going to select the entire contents of the user table ito yung table natin user user meron tayong tatlong user diba isa si admin Okay. Okay, pero where we're just going to look for a particular email at saka a particular password. The email and at the same time, kaya siya engine password must be the same. Hindi pwede ang email iba password ng ibang user, hindi pwede. So dapat email ni user 1 at saka password ni user 1. 'Yun ang kukunin natin. Okay? So email okay, let me check dito tayo sa index okay, so email is small letter E okay, make sure you double check okay, and then this one is password okay, make sure you check the spelling 
Okay, so ayan. Ito na yung last statement. Okay. Okay. So, run the query. Count how many rows. Okay. And then, uh, okay, I forgot to terminate. Terminate the PHP and close the connection. Okay, do not forget. Okay. Okay. So, next, we're going to count how many. Okay, this variable holds kung may nakita ba siyang kapareho ng email at saka password mo. Itong variable na yan. So, if this variable, okay, okay, higyan natin ang ganyan. So, if this variable is true, Uh, if 0 pala, if it's 0, wala siyang nakita. If this is 1, may nakita siya. Okay, so lagyan natin ng else. Okay, if this is true, no username and password found in the record. So meaning, you're not authorized. Else, this is false, may nakita siya. Okay, so pag true yan siya, Okay. So, ang gawin natin ngayon, you're either a standard user or a just a normal customer. Okay. If you are not log if you're not registered yet, okay, anong gagawin? Redirect. Sabihin natin login field. Okay? So, i-try muna natin. Okay, pag hindi ka daw authorized user. Sige daw, mag-login tayo. Okay. You are not an authorized user. O, oh, diba? Login field. Yun ang sinabi niya. Okay. Pero, if the user exists, ito siya, nag-exist ito, diba? Ayan. Okay. Password natin is tatlong A. Dapat pareho. A, A, A. Okay, di ba? Nothing happened. So, meaning, you're authorized. Pag hindi authorized, oh, di ba? Login failed. Okay? So, yun yung purpose ng login natin. So, this works. Next is, what if you're authorized? If you're authorized, you're either a customer or an admin. So, you need to have this. You need to get the, okay, this particular statement you're going to fetch the value of each record that is being selected. Ang kukunin daw natin is anong type of user siya. Okay. So, pwede natin kunin si user type. Either admin ba siya or customer. So, admin, customer, makuha niya yung values na yan. Okay. That's the purpose of using this. Okay. Row is an array. Array ito, itong open and close bracket similar to Java or ano, array yan siya. So, if it's admin, sasabihin natin login admin. If it's not, else, login success. Okay? Pwede natin ilagay dito login customer. Okay, ayan. So, customer siya or admin. Okay, so let's check. Okay, so log in. Okay, ayan. So, ayan na, log in. Ah, teka, may mali pala tayo. Wala tayong bookmark. Dapat log in kasi ito eh. Kasi this one, ang bookmark natin, register. Ito, bookmark natin, login. So, dito, ayan, okay, tama. So, if you click this, jump siya dun. If you click this, oops, di ba, hindi siya nag-jump. Nag-jump siya dun. Okay, ID, login, login. Login. Okay, tama naman. Okay. 
So, bookmark yan ba sa ganun? Log in. Log in. Okay. Sige na lang. <laughs> okay. Ayun. Ah, okay na. I did not. I forgot to click. Ano? Refresh. Register. Okay. Log in. Okay. Nag-jump siya dun. So, I will now log in the admin. AAA. Okay. AAA. Password is AAA. Ayan. Sabihin niya, log in admin. Okay. I'm going to log in a customer. Customer. Itong AAA. AAA. Copy ko na lang. Ah, kasi. Okay. And then the password is sabihin nga log in cost ok, if you log in wrong failed ok, you need to 